Alright guys, just a uh, quick video, I hope you can um, see me here, don't know what's going on, I'm trying to film myself, um, so, um, we got some bugs for bugs today, I've also already released the uh, Monty's, so um, I'll just flip you around and show you what it looks like. Okay, see this vermiculate dust? Well, it all comes in a groovy little post tube. This is it empty. Okay, 10,000 mites. You get a fair bit out of that. Um, comes in the post capped like that. You take one end off. Okay, and it's a tube of vermiculate and you get little mites running up your arm and you go through and you sprinkle that in the foliage of your plants so um, might as well do a little patch update because it's been a while um, I've moved some things around um, got some yellow sticky traps to monitor bug populations I've only just put them out that looks maybe like a trip down there Okay, so that's supposedly Shishito. I don't know whether I should be dubious or not um, because this guy here is supposed to have been a Chocnaga brain. Now, I'm gonna go right out and say I really don't believe that at all nice smooth pods I wonder if I can um... okay can you see how this plants all hairy so that's a giveaway to me that this guy is not who he says he is. I think it's a bit of a um, mongrel bread thing um, because there's definitely um, some annuum characteristics here. Um, there's the pubescence characteristics with the hairiness. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure what happened here, but we'll wait and see what turns out. Um, God stoppers are looking nice. Moving on, here's a Jimmy Nardello. The Jimmies are going off at the moment. Considering they're supposed to be... Um, listed in the top 200 most endangered, uh, endangered um, food categories. It's, I find it hard to explain why that might be. They are dead set easy to grow. Um, it's potting up without any worries. Heaps of um, flowers and everything in there. And yet, people aren't growing them. Don't know why, but we'll see. Shari's just been doing some whippersnipping here. And something's flown up and broken a branch. Oh well. Um, so yeah, those three uh, Jimmy Nardillos moving down. That is two Black Panthers. That is a blotchy orange pimented nade. More yellow sticky traps that have only just been put up. Um, that is anyone's guess. It's a mystery plant. So I've gone out um, in the last in the gap from the last video till now. I've potted up the rest of my keepers, and I am tempted to pot more. So you can see heaps more of this 
the miculate dust getting around. I've had some white fly eggs around the joint, so I decided to get on top of it pretty quickly. Um, hopefully, I have achieved that. Little purple UFO in flower. Still very small, long way to grow out. Um, okay, these three plants here, they are ahi pankers. No sign of um, budding it yet. Okay, this here will be another black panther. This one is another purple UFO. No fruit yet. Just, it's been flowering for a bit yet, but nothing's taken. I might have to get out there with my finger and tickle the flowers. I like that. Okay. These are the, um, uh, what do you call them, white devil's tongues again. Not much to say there, they look crookers or buggery, but apparently that's normal. Um, what are you? I can't remember. That is a Jay's Pitch Ghost Scorpion. No fruiting or budding there yet. This guy is another mystery and it's been budding like crazy and the buds have all dropped off. We'll see if that translates to fruit. This lovely plant is already chin height. And that is a Bock Boot Orange Copenhagen. This fella here has been flowering like crazy and I can't see any more flowers on it. And that one is another mystery plant. Okay. Now I think that is another Bock. Big plants quick. Yep, that's that is another bock. No fruit yet, but I've got flowers and we'll see what happens. Here is my third bock. And it broke off in the storm and it is throwing out heaps of new veg. Happy with that. It was another big plant. Broke off. And it's responded well. Okay. This end was looking a bit crook last week. But I think it's starting to bounce back a little bit with a bit more TLC. Um, this end has been particularly laden with white fly eggs. But the plants still seem to be doing wellish. Um, I am getting some nasty stuff down here. Um, so, hoping Bugs for Bugs might be able to help a little bit. Um, Lolly, here is my Ahi Hobritos. One, two, three. And I think that's just about all to talk about. All the ones on the table will be sold if anyone wants to buy them from me. Help recoup some of my costs. As I may have explained before, I planted nine seeds of each variety. From those nine seeds, I, will, I picked the most vigorous um, three plants when they were about that big maybe a little bit smaller and I'm growing out those three of each cultivar and waiting for them to completely pot up and of those three I will pick the number one favorite plant from every variety to keep going that's my idea that's what 
I plan on doing. If you see any flaws in that, people, let me know. The only flaw I can really see with that approach at this stage is me not staying true to my plan and keeping more than one plant. Um, but hopefully that means I've got good things happening. Anyway, um, I'll sign off for now. And next time you see me, I'll have all these plants out from under this eave, hopefully, and further out to where the um, line of shadow is now, so they get more sun throughout the day. Things have um, been changing in the weather. We can tell we're not strictly in the heat of summer anymore, even though I'm sweating like a pig. Yeah. Have fun.